Hi, it's Lonnie with Crafty Traveler, and today Ernie is going to help me put a new strut on my door. Hi there, you have found the Crafty Traveler channel. My name is Lonnie, and I'm a 71-year-old female who loves to camp and travel. I travel with my little schnauzer, Snickers, who can be a bit noisy at times. We love to go to the desert in the winter, the mountains in the summer, the seashore whenever we can. Come along and follow us, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel, and see where we go next. Thanks for watching. While in quartzite, a wind caught my door and broke it, and it actually went all the way back. Now it doesn't go back because I have my awning on it now. When coming home from my trip to the Eastern Sierras in September, I accidentally went a little too close to a tree and damaged my awning. On this day, I went and picked it up, all fixed. Well, there's a light. And there you are. And there I am. I don't think they've got lights. It's a prettier color than the other one. Of course, it's new. And it, well, the other one was a real dark brown. This is a beige to match your unit. Good. So we have to put a strut on it or strut back on it. So it only opens to 90 degrees. So I'll show you how to do that. Now that is, where. what is that called? That's just a strut mount. And it's going to go in those little holes. Yep, and screw into the door. And the original strut mounts actually broke or were damaged. Just bent a little bit. And these are new ones? Nope, these are the original Oh, the original ones, you just unbent them. That's right. You only put these in hand tight. You don't want to overstrip them. Just hand tight. Okay. And that goes into the main door. Okay. Shuts properly. I'm going to check it to make sure it shuts properly. And it does. It's got to go underneath the little fan brush of the screen door. Go. The other mount goes here in the door jam. It just screws down. Now was that damaged also? It was bent far less than the other. Okay, so you were able to bend it back then? Yep. To its original shape. And you're just hand tightening that too? Yep. It's better to let it fail than have it rip out the whole piece. Some of them were square head drive, others were slot head drive, Phillips. So I replaced the square head drives with the Phillips so it would all be uniform. Oh, good. And there's extras that go with the additional mounting kits. My hand tightening would be less than your hand tightening, so that's why I'm glad you're doing it. They're still pretty tight. There. Okay. 
And now that's all screwed in. There we go. And that's all that's all screwed in. Okay. Say that again. At each end there's a little head that screws on to the shock. This is the one that was in the door mount and it was the one that broke. But again, it's if you have the numbers off of your unit, you can get matching pieces. And where did you order those? Amazon. Okay. And you just looked at the numbers that were on the strut yeah. itself. And that just kind of hand tightens on, right? Yep. It screws on. And then this will pop over and lock in place. We're going to put a tiny drop of grease on the ball joint just so that it moves a little better. And that just fits right over the top of that. Okay, good. And then it's got to go underneath the screen door under the brushes and comes around to the other bracket and voila it's done and it closes and it opens to 90 degrees and it's supposed to stay there unless there's a huge wind again yep. okay great thank you dear if you like this video and you think it gave you good information, give me a thumbs up. Comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Stay crafty.